In this video, I'm going to be looking at um, one of the last few uh, web server controls. Um, the control I'll be looking at is the where is it? List box. I'll be looking at the list box control, and list box just behaves very similar to uh, most of the controls that we've looked at, like the drop down list, and um, it enables you to choose one or more items so uh, let's see how we can use it if you want you can uh, bind it to a data source so for example if we if we choose to use we can choose to use the access database database link object sitemap and so on and so forth so um, because but here we are not going to be using because we don't have any item in our database that we can bind it to any of these controls but in the near future when I'm going to have enough data and uh, enough time <laughs> I'll be able to demonstrate how that is done but uh, at this time you can just uh, edit the items to by hand and add so here um, let me see we can have a list of uh, uh, fruits let's try fruits apple I'll set the value to apple let me add another one um, pears another one strawberries strawberries uh, add another one um, uh, grapes um, the reason why I have to think is because I, I usually don't eat much <laughs> eat much of these fruits tangerines um, let me add uh, what else do I add Popo. is Popo a fruit? should be uh, let's add another one the last one ah, last one fruit somebody tell me fruit ok pineapple my favorite and I couldn't even remember. Uh, yeah, pineapple is my favorite. So uh, now we've had how many? Seven fruits. Okay. We can. Uh, you can move them if you want to with this arrow. So, and also you can. You can set the one that will be selected by default. So if you always want one to be selected, let's say for example because pineapple is my fruit, I can always make that one to be a default selection. So if we okay that and uh, let's run the application and see what it looks like we can see that the pineapple is selected by default so uh, now we can select any one of them that we want and um, um, actually to let me, let me let me do something real quick. If I drag a label, and I set the text to be fruits, and um, I set the the list box, select the in list box one. I said uh, text. if list box one dot selected value select this engine change now I mean, let me just say label one dot text equals to list box one dot selected selected high temp selected item uh, plus equals um, I'm sorry if you don't understand what is going on if you don't understand what is going on sorry about that but um, uh, let me enable the auto post back uh, if you don't understand what's going on what I'm trying to do is I want the um, the label to show which fruit I have chosen I've selected so that's why I'm enabling, uh, enabling the auto post back so the information can be sent to the server whenever I select the item 
So you see I've selected tangerine grapes, pawpaw, and okay, right. You get the idea. So but the reason why I did the um, let me retry that. The reason why uh, now it is it will be it is very impossible to select more than one item. I can only select one item. Can you see? I cannot select multiple item. Now let me show you the reason why I cannot select more than multiple item. There's a property of the list box that um, the selection mode you have to set it to multiple. When you set it to multiple you'll be able to set to select more than one fruit. So now if we run it um, we should be able to select more than one fruit now. Uh, actually before I do that let me increase the height so you see what is going on because this is kind of squeezed now so let me increase that to that size. Let's make it beautiful uh you can set the back color to that green and uh yeah we should be good to go so let's run our application so as you can see now pineapple is already let's select pineapple and uh let's select tangerine strawberry pineapple apple Pears, <laughs> Papa. Yeah, we have any problems with that, so don't worry. I know what is going on, but don't worry about it. So I'm just trying to tell you that uh, we can select multiple item from here, so you get the point. This way, what you can do in this situation is um, you can um, every time you use us select. Say for example, you have a website where you sell fruit. You can auto, uh, you can um, f on the server uh, every time you choose an item, the price is added to the basket. So when you choose an apple, it says uh, your price is now twenty cent or twenty pence. Then uh, when you choose strawberry, then it said uh, it says your price has been increased to fifty eight cent. Then when you choose tangerine, it says um, your price has been increased to seventy. I mean the cost has been increased to 78 pence and you know and so on and so forth so that uh, the user doesn't need to click on another button to add the price every time they ch select it they get the price added automatically because uh, because of the uh, auto post back feature so um, what else do I need to show you here uh, okay actually let me show you something uh, let me delete that in the first place and uh, here let me just get rid of that I don't need it so uh, oh sorry I need to modify that from the source this and so that index change you're gonna have a headache if you don't know what you're doing so right so now if I have apple selected and strawberry selected and grapes selected if you go to the view source you can see that those are the three selected items that we're going to have uh, if you can see here this one has selected value which is set to selected and so is uh, apple. Apple has one as well because it's selected here, and strawberries and grapes. So, on the fly, we are creating this thing. So, and uh, let's see for this video. I hope you have understood. Um, I know we haven't covered any part of C sharp, so that you know what is going on with all this uh, trouble I've been having with the C sharp. But uh, we're gonna get to the C sharp. Uh, very soon. Thank you.